Mr. President of APOS, Dr. Eric Liu, thank you very much for the invitation to APOS webinar presentation. The title of my presentation is Current Status Authorities in the World. Before the presentation, I'd like to introduce the history of APOS briefly. The Asian Pacific Ocean Society was inaugurated on October 10, 2001, in Tokyo, Japan, by its nine founding members of Ocean Hill. Currently, the APOS has grown to an Ocean Society with 20 affiliate members. APOS was designed to disseminate scientific and artistic information related to oceanics, particularly through its biannual congress, APOC. Then the following issues were achieved during my presidency from 2012 to 2014. Number one is official restoration of APOS as an academic society. Number two, establishment of APOS account for maintaining the sound financial status. Number three, publication of official journal APOS training on Sontics, achieved by the editorial team supervised by Dr. Nikhil Shubayt, current WHO president. Meanwhile, current status of orthodontics in each country is unclear and beyond our understanding, so I made a plan to elevate the nature of orthodontics, education, and clinical orthodontics in the Asian Pacific region by means of an interview survey. Then this survey was extended to European and American countries. This slide shows a list of questions for interview service uh, from current status of orthodontics to uh, current status and future development of orthodontic treatment with temporary anchor devices, TADS. This slide shows 16 interviews in the Asian Pacific countries from Dr. Lee Singapore to Dr. Starabaha, Thailand. And this was shown 22 interviews in the European and American countries from Dr. Misking, Germany, to Dr. George Faber, Brazil. This is the first subject number of Ocean Department and members in the Oceanic Association of Society. The number of Ocean Department is zero in Macau and only one in Singapore, Hong Kong, New Zealand, and Sri Lanka. The total number of members in APOS is approximately 18,000, which is also equivalent to the number in the United States. Among these, the members in four major societies, CWS China, IOS India, JWS Japan, and KO South Korea, occupy about 80% of the total. And this will show the number of Ocean Department members in the Oceanic Association of Society in Europe and America. The number of Oceanic Department members in the Oceanic Association are largest in the USA. As of 2016, the number of AO members is about 19,000. The USA has 66 accredited data schools. Meanwhile, the number of also department members in also associations are considerably less in Europe, excluding Germany. The next topic is the duration of education system for dentists and orthodontists. In most countries in Asia Pacific region, it takes some um, five to six years to complete dental education for BDS or DDS. In South Korea, uh, some dental colleges have a traditional system of two-year pre-dental and four-year dental courses. Meanwhile, six dental colleges have uh, changed the educational system to 42 dental school systems since 2005, which means four-year education for bachelor degree plus four-year dental school program. For scientific specialists in general, it takes uh, three to six years. It is noted that the six-year postgraduate 
program in Hong Kong may be most tough to complete among all the postgraduate orthodontic courses in the world. A duration of education system for dentists and orthodontists in Europe and America. It takes uh, five to six years to become dentists in Euro American countries, whereas the dental school systems of eight year education is established in the US and Canada. Meanwhile, to become an orthodontic specialist, three year education required in the European and American countries. Next subject is also treatment fee on, on, on average. In most countries in Asian Pacific region, also treatment fee varies around 2,000 US dollars. Meanwhile, the fee is substantially higher in Japan and New Zealand, and extremely low or approximately 350 US dollars in India. This shows the treatment fee on average in Europe and America. In the developed country in Europe, the treatment fee is considerably high, whereas the fee is limited in Iran and Egypt. In the US and Canada, the treatment fee is established high, equivalent to Japan or other developed countries in the Asia. Meanwhile, in Mexico and Colombia, the fee is considerably lower than in the US and Canada. Next subject is therapeutic system or clinical technique, success used for good treatment outcome. A certified technique with pre-adjusted edge visor parents is most popular in the world. In addition, Thai have recently gained a greatest interest or concern in Asian countries. I'd like to introduce uh, some uh, interesting uh, uh, a special comment from each country. Uh, this one is from Hong Kong. Recent removal aligner technique is becoming popular among young adults, mostly provided by general dentists. This one is from Taiwan. Recent clinical interests are application of tests in various clinical situations, which leads to paradigm shift of also treatment. This one is from Greece. Uh, I got familiar to and gradually gained a lot of experience with the fixed appliances and uh, corresponding different techniques such as straight wire appliance and segmented techniques. Finally, this one is from Egypt. I'm not using a um, bidimensional system. This is very, very interesting with an 18 inch slot on the upper center lateral incisor to be able to control the toe oriented treatment and an auto two inch slot for the rest of the teeth to decrease friction in sliding mechanics with elastic modulus and nitrocolic springs. And next, uh, from the United States, uh, this is from my uh, University of Connecticut. Uh, we all follow the biomechanics and the aesthetic based treatment is a key to provide optimal individualized uh, treatment, but do not follow a personality based technique. And um, West Virginia University South trying to rally and lose six elements to all official family. And in University of Washington, we are on a treatment going to become more and more popular. And in Canada, Montreal, fixed therapeutic appliance system includes demon, speed, smart clip, empower, and so on, as well as the invisible aligners and fixed and the removal function appliances. Finally, this one is from Brazil. I have been using a surgery fast SF approach to treat denofacial deformities since 2004. In my opinion, the patient who benefits most from the technical the class 3 patient with obstructive sleep apnea syndrome. Next topic is the percentage of non-extraction treatment with multi-bracket appliances. 
In most countries in Asia Pacific region, percentage of non extraction treatments is relatively lower than in European and American countries. However, it is noted that the rate of non extraction treatment is higher in Bangladesh, Macau, New Zealand, Nepal, and Pakistan, uh, due to the larger and softish profile similar to the Caucasians. This is the result in, in Europe and America. In the European and American country, the rate of no instruction treatment is substantially high, excluding Iran and UK, when compared to that in the Asia. This result is due to the fact that the, the anteroposterior size of the cranial facial skeleton is larger and the tooth discrepancy is less prominent in the Caucasian than in the Asian population. Next subject is the prevalence of CLP and financial support for the treatment. The prevalence of CLP varies from 0.10 in India uh, to, to 0.207 in Singapore. In most countries, excluding Hong Kong, Japan, Macau, New Zealand, Sri Lanka, and Taiwan, a treatment of therapy is not covered by social health insurance, while under certain consideration in Singapore, Indonesia, and South Korea. This will show the prevalence therapy in European and American countries. The prevalence of CRP varies from 0.07% in Colombia to 0.20% in Germany and Austria. And the barriers are all similar to those in Asia and not so different among the European and American countries. In most Euro-American countries, treatment of CRP is covered by social or private health insurance, indicating the financial support to CRP treatment is well established by the government. Next subject is the current status of therapeutic system for adult patients with your deformities. In most countries in the world, surgical ocean treatment with oral surgery is used successfully for jaw deformity patients, although camouflage ocean treatment applies to borderline cases. Meanwhile, in developed countries in the nation, the treatment is just introduced and will become more popular in the near future. The treatment fee is covered by the social health insurance in Japan, Germany, Switzerland, USA, Canada and Colombia, while such system is not established in the remaining countries. This is for Japan, also treatment including also society is covered by social health insurance controlled by the government. Thus, patients have to pay only 30% of total treatment fee. In South Korea, this is such a first approach with two jaws uh, suddenly became very common. In Nepal, Oroskanak approach is uh, completely new and has just started in 2011 in one medical center. In Thailand, uh, patients prefer camouflage treatment than uh, Oroskanak surgery, but the Oroskanak surgery must be done when it is a must. This I show the social health insurance to cover the treatment of Jody Huin patients with orthopedic surgery in Europe. In Germany, public health insurance would pay for comprehensive a treatment involving jaw surgery, but not for camouflage treatment of adults. This is uh, Switzerland. The state social insurance covers the treatment expenses of these patients. Another condition that the patients no older than 20 years old are characterized by certain dental facial morphology. In Iran, Greece, Austria, Egypt, uh, there is no a complete pack of insurance to support orthodontic treatment, including orthodontic surgery. 
In the United States, Jody Hume patients who are treated with orthodontal surgery where a sign first is sometimes indicated. A treatment of jaw deformed patient with orthodontal surgery is covered by social health insurance. And this is uh, a comment from my uh, University of Connecticut, Dr. Rabin Ronaldo. The majority of Jody Hume patients get insurance support. If they exhibit a medical problem like sleep disorders, team symptoms, and mastication issues. This one is from Virginia Commonwealth University. This, this is very interesting. Interesting in the state, it is wealthy and the poor who are able to have jaw surgery. Whereas the people may have a um, better insurance plan, where they have paid for or they get through their employer and never uh, and cover this procedure. On the other hand, the poorest patients are covered by a national health plan that is administrated by the individual states in USC. Meanwhile, for the middle class people, it is usually more difficult because it is too expensive. Uh, insurance usually covers 13% or about 8% of the total cost of the surgery, the patient may still have to pay 20% of the cost or about $10,000, which might be too expensive for middle class people. This is from Arizona. A surgery considered a medical expense and many times will not be covered by the patient insurance. This is from Canada, where also surgery is generally covered by government health insurance. The patient is responsible for supplemental fees charged by the oral surgeon. And this is from Mexico. The fee is not covered by any social insurance, and so the patient has to pay it. And this one is from Colombia. The social security system in Colombia, EPS in Spanish, can cover the maxillofacial surgery. And finally, this is from Brazil. A surgical son treatment of denofacial deformity in Brazil is primarily done in private practices. Some public hospitals do all the treatment at no cost to the treatment, but a small number of people are reached by this benefit. In general, due to Brazilian laws and health insurance system, patient pays the surgeon's and orthodontist fee. Health insurance only cover hospital expenses. Next subject is the current status and future development of orthodontic treatment with sprinkler appliances. In the following countries in Asia, regular orthodontic treatment has become very popular and has been used in daily orthodontic practice. But in the uh, remaining countries, regular orthodontic techniques are used successfully. For example, in Philippines, regular orthodontic doesn't show popularity amongst uh, upper members. And uh, in Russia, regular orthodontic in recent years gains a lot of interest, but is less popular due to the high cost and not many orthodontists offer the service. This is a very interesting comment from Thailand. Thai patients like to have braces on the labial surfaces of their teeth as a fashion statement as well as to show social status. So less people are for the ringer orthodontics. In Europe, ringer ozone technique is well accepted and aesthetic ozone treatment, but has to be used in daily ozone practice due to high cost, difficulty in the operation, and longer chair time. As you hear, for example, in Germany, the figure of patient with ringer France is also rising. On the other side, because of the substantial high cost, the circle of potential patients is limited. And this is very interesting comment from Switzerland. The request of ringer treatment is limited uh, due to the expensive treatment fees and the limited population due to lack in knowledge and experience. The ringer plans do not seem to concur the market and replace 
the Rivera plants is in never future, and this may be a future prospect of a Lingara plants technique. This one is very interesting from Austria. The basal Lingara surgical plants have become more discreet, and so comfort has become higher. More people are wish to have an invasive treatment, which will become even more popular in future. From perspective of reducing frequency of enamel decalification, the ring bracket approach seems favorable. Reason therefore may be seen in enhanced saliva wetting and self cleaning of enamel surfaces. This is for the United States. In the USA, Ringerosone treatment never became popular and it drags into usage compared to Asian Rim countries. Most of our scientific offices do not offer at all as shown below. Here, uh, for example, from West Virginia University, Ringer plants is used extensively in the state of West Virginia due to low demand in insect treatment. And this is a very interesting comment from Virginia Commonwealth in Boston. In the 1980s, Ringer plants were becoming popular, but ceramic black became available, and Ringer plants never really took off. Additionally, it is expected that they offer the benefit of keeping the back surfaces clean and more accessible for promoting oral hygiene procedure. And this comment is almost the same as uh, uh, the comment from uh, Austria, Dr. Hans Peter Bantunion. Uh, this one is from Canada, similar to the USA. Ring of France in the US so frequent in Canada uh, due to high cost of the treatment and the uh, difficulty in the ring of technique. And this is from Colombia. The usage of ring of France is very limited. Uh, the comment for Brazil are a little different. A very growing demand for more aesthetic present or sonic appliances by our population. This has boosted the use of ring appliances in Brazil in the last decade when Neymar, Brazilian famous football player, underwent also treatment with finger braces when he was a teenager in Sao Paulo. It no bad clear what is the future development for the ring of brace in Brazil and in the world. Currently, they compete with Arenas, which has grown in quality and use. This may be a future prospect of uh, ring of brands technique. Ring of brands technique has been well accepted by other patients in most countries, in Asia in particular, but it has become so popular in Europe due to lack of information and technical skills and a high cost. In the region, you see, ring appliances never became popular and most of the authentic offices do not offer at all, as Dr. Rabindranand reported. It is a very interesting comment from Thai Association of Scientists that patients like to have braces on the radial surfaces of their teeth as a fashion statement, as well to show social status, and thus less people are for the ring orthodontics. What is the final side the current status and future development of some treatment with temporary anchor devices tides? In Asia, tides are well accepted as an aesthetically useful, essentially useful tool for comprehensive ozone treatment and have been successfully used in daily ozone practice as shown below. Yes, for example, the tides were extremely popular at the time of century in Singapore and uh, in South Korea, micro implant was also anchored with the first institute in Korea in 1998. Then most Korean authorities started to use micro implant and this spread to the world. Uh, this is from Europe. Uh, Dr. Papa Paul Spreeze. Uh, reported many plates and uh, many school implants have been widely utilized as internal tasks for the treatment of various problems. However, 
uh, similar to other European countries, this is very important. A widespread use and the everyday clinical practice of the orthodontist was not found. Uh, similarly, in Egypt, the use of TARD is still not widespread in clinical orthodontic practice in Egypt due to two reasons, an extra cost for the insertion and uh, require additional training. This one is from uh, U.S. and Canada. Dr. Rabino Nanda, University of Connecticut, uh, reported that usage of TAD is not as popular in USA as compared to Asian countries such as Japan and Korea. Uh, Dr. Clarice Inicio, uh, Montreal, Canada, reported that similarly the use of TAD in a certain treatment has been increasing and becoming more popular among Canadian scientists, although not as widespread as in Asia. Meanwhile, uh, the comment from uh, Arizona and Colombia and Brazil uh, indicated that uh, TAD are very popular and uh, have been successfully used in daily also in practice. For example, Dr. J. Park from uh, Arizona, uh, we utilize a wide variety of TAD, blending from uh, simple ankle control to total Arch distalization success is TAD is also reported from UCLA. Meanwhile, I have to keep it in mind the criticism to the inappropriate use of TAD. For example, this is a comment from China, surgical ankle control done on the TADs if following the physiological ankle control philosophy. TAD are used only for the cases when massive interruption is required. This one is from Dr. Fowler, New Zealand. Orthodontists are actually trying to achieve orthodontic effect to avoid uh, orthodontic surgery, which may not be recommended as an appropriate application of TADs. This one is from Dr. Satrabaha. A Thailand, if conservative technique can be used with the same outcomes, it then preferable. And this very interesting comment from Switzerland, the vast majority of the moral occlusion can be solved with conventional scientific means without tides. In addition, the price we have to pay for these advantages is the atrophy of certain clinical skills. Thus, it is considered the tides are a useful treatment weapon, but not a panacea for all the orthodontic problems. And this one is from Virginia, USA. Certainly we don't use them if we can achieve the same results using conventional biomechanical principles. A recent topic in orthodontics with uh, Greek science, tides, which have been successfully used and contributed to optimal also treatment. However, as pointed by Dr. Xu, China, Fowler, New Zealand, Satrapa, Thailand, KDRD, Switzerland, and Rindau, Virginia, USA, it should be noted, notice that in cases without any need and indication or to limit the application to absolutely needed and scientifically indicated cases. Furthermore, it is shown that in the US and Europe, TAD has been applied to treatment of certain malocclusion like open bite. However, following the initial surge in TAD use in the late 2000s, also practitioners realized that they didn't need TADs in every patient to achieve excellent results. These results seem due to more harmonious chronic facial skeleton with less LDs in the, dent in the dentitions in the Caucasian than in the Asiatic. This one shows uh, 2010 APOS Annual Journal meeting uh, held in Sydney. Uh, in this year, I was elected as the uh, uh, next president of APOS. And this one shows the 2012 APOS Annual Journal meeting 
when I was uh, uh, the president of APOS. And this slide shows uh, 2014 APOS AGM held in, in Kuching, Malaysia. Thank you very much for your kind attention.